Welcome back to Fat Packs, guys. In today's video, we're doing a product bake off between the Kai Tech and our Fat Swimmer. Okay, so looking at all the characteristics in these guys, right? They're obviously both 3.8 inch, we know that. Um, if you go and look at something like color on these, so one of the things that uh, Kai Tech does is they heavily inject all of their baits with salt. And so because of that, the colors get muted, they get dulled out. Whether or not that's the ticket that day you're fishing, I'll let you let the fish decide. But from a bait maker perspective, we love um, to keep whatever color we're putting in preserved. We are big on color and representing that color. So that's what we prefer. When it comes to um, looking at the actual characteristics more from the texture perspective, similar ribbed spacing um, we would have to them among the two. Um, if you were to look there at the top side, you can see that they have a, a weed guard right up here at the top, right? Where they don't have plastic. For us, we didn't want to add that. And the reason being is when you're making a retrieve out into heavy brush, cover, timber, docks, through rocks, I don't know, it doesn't matter what it is, you never want that hook coming out. And if you don't actually text pose your hook in the top of the bait into some kind of plastic, what you end up finding is it finds a way out when it hits all those objects and those structure. And so for us, we prefer to have that meat up there in the top of the head to um, uh, just to keep you the bait more weedless throughout the life of the retrieve and into the next. Then if you keep looking at the bait, you can go all the way down to the tail section here where the boot tail is. This is something interesting to point out. What we want to show you guys is um, if we go and look at a side view of this, let me get this right here in the camera. Um, you'll see that the actual Kai Tech itself is a much thinner boot than our Fat Swimmer. So they have a thinner boot there on the end. Maybe you could say it's a little less durable, maybe not. All right, so now let's talk about scent, okay? So what we use in ours, we use that fat juice basically, which is a cross shad leach formula. So we all know that those three species of forage are what the bass primarily eat throughout most of our lakes, rivers, streams, etc. Um, Kai Tech actually goes with a squid type scent. Now, whether or not squid would matter, I'm sure a bass would eat it, but uh, I'd let you guys decide as well if um, you prefer that squid scent over more of what we find in most of our natural rivers and lakes with the shad leach craw formula that we use. Okay, let's talk about cost. So when it comes to cost, what you're looking at with a Kai Tech right now, for a six pack, it's $5.99. So you're paying about a dollar a bait. With us, we're at $5.99 for a 10 pack. So we're down at 60 cents per bait. Quite a different, you know, difference in price there. Um, so you're going to get more swim baits um, from us for your buck. Therefore, you'll be out on the water longer. And that's why we are fat packs. We give you more industry. Uh, we give you a larger industry size pack uh, than most other manufacturers on the market. Okay, how about durability? This is a big one. When you're out there on the water, you want to catch potentially three to four plus fish if you can per bait. Again, you're, you want your money to, to extend as far as possible. With a Kai Tech, because they heavily inject salts, this is great for business because you may get one bait per fish because it's so heavily injected. They salt, what it does is it'll break down the plastic and it weakens it. And so it can just take one good head thrash from a bass and boom, that bait's ruined, you know? Whereas for us, we don't use salt at all. And so we average from what we've heard and from what reports have told us um, from all of our, our customers is three to four fish is generally the average you're gonna get uh, per swim bait for us. So let's talk about action. Probably one of the most important of all the characteristics is what the fish see, how lifelike is it uh, in the water? What are they preferring that day? Um, as an angler, you really have to make the decision. There's days where you need something that's tight wiggling. And then there's days where you need something that's wide wiggling. wiggling. There's not really a right answer in this case. So what you wanna do is present both options to you. You guys decide. So with a Kai Tech, what you have is these are heavily salt injected, right? So although that does tighten up the bait and stiffen it, they actually tend to have somewhat of a wider wiggle, a wider pronounced side to side wiggle. So with us, what we have is ours is kind of mid grade, I would call it. We have um, our, our, because we have much more, uh, we have no salt in the bait. What that does is 
the the plastic itself has more wiggle um but that doesn't because it's not as stiff and with the way the water friction works it doesn't give our bait quite a drastic side to side wiggle it's a little less pronounced than the kaitik um and then when it comes to things like startup time which to me would be it's when you throw a bait in the water, it hits the water and it's either like, say you're throwing a chatter bait or a spinner bait or a bladed bait. It's how quick those blades start turning. So the question is, is how quick does your boot tail start turning? Does it turn right as it hits the water? Does it turn after three or four kicks down? Um, and the difference is there. What you'll find in our taking test is the Kitek actually um, takes a second to start turning and get going. Um, and that's because of the stiffness of, this, of the salt. Whereas ours, because it's natural, just plastisol, it's an immediate kick immediately. So we'll let you guys again make the decisions, um, but let's head now over to the tank test. Okay, so for this tank test, what we're gonna do is we're comparing, we're taking our ledge knocker. This is our half ounce, half ounce ledge knocker on a four out hook. Um, and we're pairing up just like the two swim baits you saw, the 3.8 Kitek in Pro Blue Red Pearl with our 3.8 fat swimmer in pro blue red pearl so let's take it to the test and we'll let you guys be the judge 